Hello everybody, it's day four of Self Care Mists. I am Heather Evans. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos every other day throughout the month of December. For today's invitation, I would like you to start planning ahead. During the festive season, it can feel like we have a million and one things to do. I mean, there are people to see, things to attend, gifts to buy. I mean, the list is endless. But today, your invitation is to plan ahead and automate so that you can move through this festive season in a relaxed, stress-free way. I like to think of planning ahead as not necessarily a written in stone guidebook that you have to follow. I mean, things change and flex all the time. But I do know that when I take some time to think about what needs to get done, things move much more smoothly. To help you with this, I've created a plan ahead template. You can download that from the link in the description below. Here's how this works. You can divide this any way you like, but I have some primary categories that I like to look at during the festive season. And these primary categories are the ones that are important to me. They're connected to my core values. And if you haven't seen my core values video or the video I did about connecting your core values to your to-do list, make sure you click in the corner above or check those out from the links in the description below. So the areas on my festive plan ahead template really do relate to my core values. They relate to self-care. They relate to deep connection. They relate to things like having fun and having some adventure. So you'll want to personalize your festive plan ahead list for yourself. You'll see that the festive planner is divided into different sections and you can label these however you like. And then I want you to take some time. Maybe you take time after your candlelight meditation from Self Care Miss Day One and you add a little bit of extra time where you're going to sit with your plan ahead list and reflect on the things that need to get done over the next few weeks. When we take time to plan ahead, when we take time to consider what needs to get done, it means that we can avoid the last minute rush. When we're in a last minute rush, our body goes into fight or flight mode. And when we're in fight or flight, that's when chronic stress starts to add up. That's when we see an impact on our well being, physically, mentally, and emotionally. I want you to be relaxed this festive season. And one of the ways we can do that is by looking at what's coming up and planning ahead. Even better, if we can plan ahead and make sure that the things on our list that we're looking at are connected to our core values, we're gonna be that much more of a flow. We're gonna be that much more aligned. On your template, I want you to be writing tasks and I want you to be as specific as you can possibly be about what the task is and when you'd like to have it done. By doing this, it eliminates any confusion. I also want you to think about if you need help from anybody. Is there somebody you can ask for support or is it something you could delegate to somebody else? I know for myself, there is nothing like being asked to help out during the festive season. I'm always one to show up and lend a helping hand. I'd love to know what you're planning ahead for this festive season. Drop some comments below. I hope you're enjoying self care miss. If you are, be sure to like this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release a new video every other day throughout the month of December. Stay ignited out there, keep planning ahead out there, and I will see you soon. Bye.